It's 9 a.m. Welcome to Good Day Extra. Netflix, Hulu, and now Disney Plus. What to watch out for if you plan to buy into more of those streaming services. We'll talk about it with an expert coming up in our next half hour of Good Day Extra. We're now less than a month out from the launch of a new streaming service. It's called Disney Plus, and a lot of people are trying to decide, are they going to buy the new one? Well, it's a decision that's becoming increasingly difficult because there are so many streaming service options now. And joining us this morning to talk more about it is Tom Jelnick of On Target Marketing, and he's here this morning to tell how us you? how to get through the streaming craziness. Great oh to have goodness. you back. Thanks Thank for coming. So I, I'm so glad to be here. Um, this is getting crazy. People want to cut the cord. And do you know why they want to cut the cord? Because their cable bills are like 250 right. bucks a month. It's crazy, right? And especially when you start in adding all the packages, right? Oh, I've got the NFL package. I got the MLB package. I got HBO. I had, and it gets to be insane. But now we're getting to this new problem, which is, okay, I love Netflix. Oh, but I now I want to watch my Disney movies. Oh, but I still want to get my Hulu. And it becomes expensive. What do you do? So I have Amazon Prime, YouTube TV. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have Hulu. Yeah. We have Netflix. So I, I say make a spreadsheet and start adding up all these monthly expenses uh, and keep track of that because you know what? At the end of the day, you still need the internet from your probably cable provider. And gosh, you could turn around and be spending $360 a month for entertainment that you may not be using. Right, and that's such a good point that you bring up because I think a lot of people will say, I'm paying DirecTV, I'm paying Dish, I'm paying Spectrum, whoever I'm paying, right, for all these services. And yet I may be only watching a fraction of the channels that are being provided to me. Right. Do you think these major companies are gonna be com come up with a way to better serve us as more people cut the cord? Yes. So here's what people really want. They want it their way, when they want it, how they want it, you know, on their terms. So you'll go pick a show, for example, the Mr. Rogers movie, right. and you know you want to see that. So I think these providers need to start figuring out how to let me pick and choose what I want out of that streaming service. And you're starting to see a lot of that. Disney, for example, with their new package coming out, I mean, it's going to give you oodles of Disney movies to watch. Right. And there's people that are fanatical about that. They're really excited about it. And that means you won't be able to watch them on Netflix anymore, right? Because all the rights that Netflix once had to those Disney movies will now go over to Disney. Right. So are you hearing, Tom, a lot of clients talk to you about, all right, I, I've got to cut the cable. And they're even going so far as to, as to buying the old-fashioned and fa old fashioned antennas. They're not old-fashioned anymore, but that's the new phase people are going right. to. Right. So my step one when I did it was, let me get one of those HD antennas. I put it in the, in the roof, in the attic, hooked up all the coax to it. So that was my step one. But guess what? They didn't have Discovery. They didn't have Disney channel which right. was a must we had to watch Higley Town Heroes <laughs> so uh, I just dated myself on that one um, but really it was kind of baby steps and you know I have YouTube TV which I love because it's got my food network etc so my advice is look at every one of these services figure out which ones is going to you know mass appeal to your family right. and start in increments uh, if it's not working for you switch to another one so that's the cool thing you're in control Another big thing I'm sure you hear from a lot of people is I don't want to lose my sports channels, right? right. I still want to be able to watch, you know, game day and, and all my games. And so that's another thing that factors into how people decide, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So what you really need to do is just kind of figure out what programming you guys actually have to have, like must-haves, and then find the right service that offers those options and 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 sign up for those. Oh, here we go. And the new Disney uh, streaming comes out in November. Correct. So again, one more thing to add to your to-do list. Right. Figure out your TV streaming services. Tom Chen, like always hey, a pleasure great to see from you. On Target Marketing. Great to have you, you with us this morning. Danielle, we're going to send it back to you.